What up is Marcus of Dynasty Football Dads? We are doing a super flex mox draft. I have Jackson in the background. So again, 12 teams. I'm going to be pick number seven because it's too easy being early. So I want to see how this draft goes to me. Uh, again, super flex draft. If you haven't uh, listened to me before, I'm a QB, QB, QB lover. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe. We're giving away a Jerry Judy free sign jersey when we hit 1K, which will be soon. And then maybe we can even do some live stuff. Oh, that would be fun. Uh, and you can get to hang out with Jackson on the live camera. But instead, you can just get me a little bit later. Um, again, so subscriber, we're gonna pick. We are, we're gonna be picking a random subscriber. We are gonna be putting them on the wheel of winning here very, very soon. Thank you, Craig. Who well, is uh, our first Patreon too? Thank you. All right, so we are pick seven. Pick 101 in most drafts is Christian McCaffrey, but not in this one. Good, good. Team one doing the way it's supposed to happen, Patrick Mahomes. But then it has gone crazy. I don't understand this. Uh, we have McCaffrey, Cook, Henry, Taylor. So now we have the pick right before us. Let's see what happens. Josh Allen. Of course, right before us. Right before us. And I put this as two minutes a, two minutes a, a pick. Uh, but realistically, we have Barkley. And then we have any QB that we, we, we sure want to. And so the QBs, we got Murray, Jackson, Prescott. I think this is an easy pick. This is easy. I have like a tier of three QBs. Kind of. Pat Mahomes is one. I have a tier of Allen and uh, Allen Kamara. Allen and Murray. Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray kind of together is... Kamara, no, nah, not really. Uh, Kyla Murray, and then we have Lamar and Prescott. Prescott actually four, L Lamar five. And I think in easy and super flex leagues, I want my stud quarterback, and I want him now. Is that light blinding? That might be blinding. All right, well, I'm going to go pick Kyla Murray. Okay, and I'm going to go turn off that light. So you get to see my movie. There. I didn't like that light. So I like to do this thing straight. Like, hey, you know what? You get what you get. You get me in all my rights and all my wrongs. So if I mess up talking, then that's what you get. But let's go through the, the what's happened. So uh, I know I don't have it on the board or anything like here, but you're just going to have to trust me that it went Barkley, Camaro, Lamar Jackson, Tyreek Hill, Dak Prescott, Chubb, Aaron Jones, Devonta Adams, Zeke, Russell Wilson, at this point, I'm looking in the draft, and it says I have a minute 30 left, which it is what it is. Justin Herbert on the clock. I'd really like to get a, a stud two, two quarterbacks. That would be awesome. Uh, Travis Kelsey here, no. DeAndre Hopkins, Cam Akers, uh, Stephon, Stephon Diggs, Austin Eckler. In this situation, I know I quarterbacks can drop. They can drop into this fourth, fifth round, but I'm looking at... Okay, I told you last time I wanted a win now team. I think this might be a like, we're going to try to win in two to three years. I'm going to take two awesome quarterbacks here. I'm going to take Herbert. And so now I have Murray and Herbert who are super young and I might be fine for two, three years. Like I might be a team that still needs to figure out the other positions. So that's where I know a lot of teams are. They have awesome quarterbacks, but they don't have much of else. I'd rather have that than have awesome running backs and all of a sudden they're gone in two years and now I have no quarterbacks and I'm trying to figure out how to draft the next three, four years trying to get these 101s and these 102s to try to draft stud what quarterbacks. You doing okay? Okay. All right. So off the board, Kelsey, Diggs, Hopkins, Eckler, Cam Akers, both two running backs I really wanted actually into the third round. Kittle, Rodgers, Justin Jefferson. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but that hurts. That hurts because I really wanted him. And AJ and AJ Brown, gone. Thank you. Najee Harris, uh, Darren Waller. This sucks. I really wanted one of those guys. <laughs> I really wanted Justin Jefferson and AJ Brown. That would, yeah, you did too? You can help me draft this team. DeAndre Swift, Kyle, Clyde Edwards-Elaire, Antonio Gibson, J.K. Dobbins. A lot of good running backs that can fall into the fourth. But let's look at wide receivers. Calvin Ridley. We think that Julio is going to be gone. Michael Thomas, Allen Robinson, Mike Evans, Terry McLaurin, Keenan Allen, and a lot. I'm in a pickle and hard place right now. We got tight end. We got Kyle Pitts. We could just go Kyle Pitts and go crazy. We could go Kyle Pitts and go crazy. I'm saying we could. It could be crazy. DeAndre Swift, Clyde Edwards-Alaire. I, 
just because I think I can get, uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to see, because Clyde Edwards is still super young. And I don't, are you yelling at me? I don't appreciate that. All right, Clyde Edwards Elaire. Does anybody else talk if, when they had a baby and stuff? Do they always talk to him like they're an adult? I do. Yeah. So Clyde Edwards Elaire. I'm doing it. Swift gone. Jacobs gone. Ridley gone. Gibson gone. Dobbins gone. Thomas, Nixon, Miles, Robinson, Evans. So I I would be stuck with ET. Not, not stuck with, but Etn, Chris Carson, David Montgomery, who is. As an RB1 in a Superflex Dynasty League, that is rough. That is a rough start. I am the only one with two QBs. In fact, there are some teams that have zero QBs. A lot of teams that have. There's one, two, three, four, five teams that could that need a QB and that are going to need to draft a QB or else they're a big doo-doo. So I know that wide receivers are... So, I'm, so as teams are going to be drafting quarterbacks, less and less running backs and wide receivers and tight ends are going to be picked. Let's see if Carpets is staying. Confidence is not taken. Ugh. All right. Terry McLaurin, Chris Godwin, CD Lamb. Oh, I love CD Lamb. There are DJ Moore. I love a lot of these wide receivers. But at this pace, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to. I talked about the unicorn. We're going to do it. I'm just going to. Because I could be fine with CD Lamb, DJ Moore, Terry McLaurin as my wide receiver one. Yes, my running back two is going to be rough. I might have to trade my 2022 first. Or and then I, after 12 months, trade my 2023 first. Um, but I'm going to do Kyle Pitts. I'm going to do it because I... Uh, Hawkinson's there. Hawkinson's there. Mm. I don't know what to do now. All right. Reverting back. I'm going to do CD Lamb. I don't want to do it. No, I... I, normally I would, I'm just going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do Kyle Pitts. I'm going to do it because you know what? Why not? I'm hoping that one of these top wide receivers, okay. Allen, Burrow, Hurts, Montgomery, Cooper, McLaurin, Godwin, Thielen, and Lamb, and Galladay taken right before me. It's like I deserve it. And Hawkinson there. So I could have had, I, so I should have went wide receiver and, and then I, who knows if Pitts would have been on the board, but that, you know what? That's what, that's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, our choices are DJ Moore, Julio, Jamar Chase, Tyler Lockett. In this case, I almost have to go uh, DJ Moore. I'm going to look at running backs. We've got Travis Etienne, who's an option. Kareem Hunt. I have literally no, I have no wide receivers. And that's not a good thing when it comes to <laughs> trying to build a super flex dynasty league. But I'm looking at kind of who I like. I like Javante Williams later. I could even pick him up in the next round. Right now, I mean, we're in round five. And I, I, I'll, I'll take the wide receiver in DJ Moore because I feel like he's a step. He's a step above uh, the other players. Andrew Stafford, ETM, Brady, Robinson, Julio, Chase, Woods, Tyler Lockett, Melvin Gordon, and now me. So we got Cooper Cup, Deontay Johnson, Odell Beckham, Chase Klu Chase, Claypool, Brandon Ayuk, and T. Higgins. These are all fine B beta receivers, you could call them. They're not alphas. They're not going to be like DJ Moore could be an alpha. I think he is a really good wide receiver. Uh, so I need to go to running backs and see. So I, I, I'm assuming Javante Williams is going to be my boy. Uh, let's just look at quarterbacks just to see. We got Tannehill, Tannehill Baker, Ryan, Watson. Watson's an interesting pick because just with my team, he might be a good fit as a third quarterback because if he's really good, I can flip him. If he if he actually plays, and he's he's really good. If he actually plays, he could be a perfect flip for like honestly, like if if he's if he gets acquitted of all charges, you're trading him for you're trading him for Devontae or you're trading him for Calvin Ridley or something like that crazy. Uh, so, but running backs, I'm gonna go Javante Williams. I want that second running back and Clyde and Javante. I know that I'm gonna struggle with wide receiver two spot. Deontay, Fremont, Brandon Ayuk, Hawkinson. Hawkinson drafted two rounds later than me. Oh, I regret the Kyle Pitts move, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta, sometimes you gotta mix it up. Uh, Beckham, Higgins, Chark, Sutton, Devontae Smith, which is a nice sneaky play. I'm hoping to get Bateman or uh, Waddle maybe in a round or two, but that might be pushing it. So running backs again. So if I didn't pick Javante Williams, I'm staring at Chase Edmonds, Mike Davis, Raheem Mostert. My running back three is gonna suck. My running back three is gonna be horrible. Um, that's just the way it's gonna be in this in the in this in this dynasty thing. But I'm gonna have two young quarterbacks. 
I'm gonna have DJ Moore, who is also super young. As you see, my team is very, very young. Maybe not a competing team now, but next year you could see my if, if I add or trade my 2022 pick, or even my 2022 and 2023 pick, I can get a couple of veterans to add to this roster. Sometimes it's not about winning now, immediately now, like my other league or my other team was. It's about winning in a in a couple of years. And honestly, I wouldn't need a 2022 or 2023 first. If I have two solid quarterbacks, and maybe even I'll try to see if I can sneak in a third. Chase Claypool, Juju, Jalen Waddle, Jerry Judy. Why is Robert Tanya listed as a wide receiver? I have no idea. That that doesn't seem right. <laughs> no tight ends to be even said. Uh, quarterbacks, Tannehill, Baker. I don't know why Baker and Ryan and this is... Uh, I'm probably going to end up drafting a quarterback next round. But let's just draft a wide receiver. Hmm... Claypool, Waddle, Jerry Judy, Debo. Uh, I am going to go with Waddle. Again, I got a couple rookies in here. Team not, maybe, Waddle maybe doesn't have an amazing year now, but let, let's see what happened after. Most, uh, not mustard, mustard. Claypool, Edmonds, Mike Davis, Juju, uh, Ronald Jones, uh, Dallas Goddard. Goddard. I don't know why I say that. Dallas Goddard. Why do I say Goddard wrong? Weird. I bet. I say words weird. I, I just, I do. So I say similar. I think weird. It just happens. Fournette, Tyler Boyd, Jerry Judy. We're back to me. Fuller, Samuel, Brandon Cooks, LaVishka. Eh, 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 eh. It is what it is. David Johnson, running back. I could have David Johnson, which is a very, very, very appealing situation. Quarterbacks, Tannehill, Baker. I'm just going to take Baker. I mean, at this point, we're going to take Baker. I think I think Baker's a a great third. I honestly I might even take a fourth quarterback. I don't know why some of these quarterbacks aren't being taken off the board. I'm just gonna have four or five quarterbacks, and, and people are gonna have to. Now they're coming. Now they're coming off. Tannehill, Ryan. All right. So Deshaun Watson's still on the board. Uh, Carson Wentz, Tua, Kirk. Again, guys I like. Running backs. We got Carter, Sermon. I mean. Okay, we got Brandon Cooks, who's a – we don't know who his quarterback is. We got Robbie Anderson, Curtis Samuel, Jarvis Landry, LaVishka. Hey, man. Time out. You want your music back? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll speed this up. All right, we're in round nine. So I'm just going to take Brandon Cooks. I know he's basically a 1,000 yards given. Deshaun Watson taken, Carson Wentz, Tua. Oh, my goodness, we have the quarterback run here. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight quarterbacks were taken in round nine. Let's see. I, and I can't for the, I don't know why Zach Wilson and, and Trey Lance have not been picked. I don't see this happening. Uh, but it, just in the case it is, I'm going to take Trey Lance because why not? Like I have Baker, Lance, Herbert, and Murray. And sometimes this is the problem with sleeper mock drafts. With, with it just like Lance won't be there at round 10 he won't he won't be uh, you can comment below and be like he won't be there I, I know he won't be there but you no know he's there and in this case I'm just literally going to take him because now I have four quarterbacks I have Murray Herbert Mayfield and Lance I don't need quarterbacks for like ever and, and that's just that's an amazing way to start your super flex league that that won't happen Running backs, Dylan, Moss, Singletary, Pollard. Oh, what do I got for running backs? I got Edwards Zilair, Williams, wide receivers. I got three of them. Devontae Parker, Gallup, Mike Williams, Rondell Moore, Marvin Jones, T.Y. Hilton, Henry Ruggs, Elijah Moore. I'm going to take a running back here. I'm going to take... I don't have... Looking, you see... Okay, I'm just going to take A.J. Dillon because I feel like he could be a solid fill-in running back. I, I mean, I would have liked to have something better than that as my RB3, but it's what you get. We're going to kind of go through this quick, this last couple rounds quick, because at this point you guys are probably like, I don't care. That's fine. Uh, wide receivers, Ronald Moore, Henry Ruggs. You got a bunch of rookies, Elijah Moore. And I, I don't see them being here usually. Gus Edwards, Naeem Hines. I think Philip Lindsay could be a decent running back this year. I'm just going to take Philip Lindsay. And then I'm going to take whatever rookie wide receiver is available left to me, which would probably be 
Probably be Elijah Moore, maybe. Let's see. Elijah Moore. Mon Ross St. Brown was there too, but I'll take Elijah Moore. Again, my team's super young, drafting a lot of rookies, but that's my team. Why? Oh, I forgot to take kickers off. I always forget to take kickers off. I gotta take my kicker. Young Ho Young Hoku. I'll draft my defense too. Take best defense available. <laughs> I know you guys are waiting through this. If you made it this far, just hashtag skull below. Comment skull on the end of your comment. Please let me know what you would like more additional to the videos. Tampa Bay defense. Um, because that will help just try to see what you guys are looking for in a channel. Um, convert to lead, review benefits. Now, so my roster, Kyler Murray. Did it not do super flex? I did super flex. Is that why these quarterbacks didn't get taken? Timeout. Because that would... That would change a lot. No, it's super flex. Teams are just being dumb. Yeah. Weird. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what teams are doing. I, I don't understand. I don't understand why quarterbacks were being taken so late. Something doesn't feel right. I probably did something wrong because I shouldn't have gotten Kyler Murray, Herbert, Baker, and Lance. But no one, I'm going to take it. I'm not. I, let the draft. If you learned anything over the last 16 minutes and 30 seconds, let the draft come to you. Take best player available. In fact, I. In this case, if it was a real draft, it's for money. I. And I know it changes a little bit. I would have probably even just taken like five quarterbacks. Just take them all. Like eventually, yeah, teams are going to be pissed that you're you have all these quarterbacks, but they're going to need quarterbacks. And you're going to be like, hey, go around, figure out what your best offer is to other teams, and come back to me. And I'm going to have Trey Lance or Baker Mayfield, and you're going to have to give me a, a really good player. You're going to have you're going to have to give me a you're going to have to give me a I'm trying to think what I would want. Probably a good top, a, a, a better wide, a better wide receiver. You're gonna have to give me a, a, a Cooper Cup. A, 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 you're gonna have to give me a Kenny Dolladay. I'll give you something added onto it. Like you're gonna have to. All right. Just confused on why the quarterbacks didn't go as quickly as possible. Four of the top five picks running backs, but then a bunch of wide, then a bunch of quarterbacks started going off the board. So that's again fantasy football. You just sometimes it doesn't make sense, but you just gotta do what you gotta do. He falling asleep? Yes, he's falling asleep. All right, this is Marcus Dynasty Football Devs. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. Now turn up.